हेलो साइराम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आर यू एक्साइटेड फॉर ऑनलाइन एग्जाम्स येस येस योर एग्जाम इज कमिंग क्लोजर यू शुड बी थरो विद द लेसन कंटेंट इन साइंस सब्जेक्ट वी हैव टू लेसन्स फॉर एफ ए टू एग्जाम फर्स्ट लेसन इज रॉक्स एंड सॉइल and second lesson is our houses that is chapter number 3 and 4 today we will do quick revision of lesson number 3 that is rocks and soil first we will discuss about rocks the earth is made up of rocks and soil rocks are made up of tiny grains called minerals Diamond is the hardest rock. Granite is also very hard. Coal is not very hard, and chalk is a soft rock. Chalk is a soft rock. That's why it's break easily. Rocks are made up of tiny grains called minerals. So different rocks are made up of different minerals. that's why the colors of the rocks are different formation of soil now now we will see how the soil is form a long time back there were only rocks on the earth the action of sunlight water and wind and changes in weather broke the rocks into smaller pieces soil is made up of two main parts first one is tiny pieces of rocks and the second thing is rotted pieces of dead plants and animals rotted plants and animals are called humus humus is dark brown or black in color soil collected from different places have different color in some places soil is light brown in color in some places soil is dark brown in color and in some places soil is red in color they are different because they are made from different rocks now let's study about the layers of soil in the activity you can notice that a small stone called gravel settled down at the bottom of the layer above the gravel there is a layer of sand sand particles are very large you can see the particles separately above the sand there is a layer of clay in clay soil the particles are very fine you cannot see the particles separately above the clay there is a layer of humus which is floating on the water humus is light or dark brown in color the spaces are filled with the water and air yes now the types of soil there are three types of soil first one is sandy soil then clay soil and then third type is loamy soil first we will see about sandy soil it is mostly found in desert and beaches it is made up of large particles of sand it can hold enough air but not water therefore it is not good for growing crops bajra grows in sandy soil most of the plants cannot grow in sandy soil now the second type is clay soil it is sticky and smooth type of soil it is made up of very fine and small particles it can hold enough water but not air rice grows well in 
clay soil only few plants can grow in clay soil third type of soil is loamy soil it is a mixture of both sand and clay it can hold air and water therefore it is best for growing crops it also has humus which makes it very fertile most of the plants can grow in loamy soil yes now importance of soil soil is very important for all the living things plants grows in soil thus soil provide us with food it is home of many animals like rabbits rats earthworms etc soil and its by products are used as building materials like cement bricks and glass now let's discuss the question and answers of this lesson here question number 1 we choose the correct answer here for each question i have given two options but in the exam two or three options will be there and you have to choose the correct answer here one answer is right and one answer is wrong so you have to choose the correct answer here here i am putting a tick mark on the correct answer but in the exam you have to click on the correct answer yes let's start now question number 1 rocks are made up of one or more yes a option a is water option b is minerals so rocks are made up of one or more minerals so the right answer is minerals so i am putting a tick on the minerals question number 2 dash soil holds water but not much air yes tell me students which soil holds water but not much air sandy soil soil or clay soil yes the answer is clay soil because soil particles of clay soils are very fine and it holds the water but not much air yes now question number 3 dash is formed when rocks break up into pieces yes students now tell me what will be the answer of this question dash is formed when rocks break up into pieces option a is soil option b is cement so soil is formed when the rocks break up into pieces the soil is the right answer so i am putting tick on the soil yes remember students in the exam you have to click on the right answer question number 4 dash are added to soil to make it more fertile option a is water option b is manure so what are added to soil to make it more fertile water or manure yes the answer is manure so i am putting tick on the manure question number 5 dash soil is sticky sandy soil is sticky or clay soil is sticky tell me students which soil is sticky yes clay soil is sticky soil because it holds the water and particles of the uh, clay soil are fine that's the reason clay soil is sticky soil
yes question number 6 dash soil particles has lot of space between them option a is sandy soil option b is clay soil which soil particles has lot of space between them yes sandy soil particles have lot of space between them because particles of the sandy soil are large question number 7 dash is a soft rock option a is chalk option b is granite which is a soft rock yes chalk is a soft rock it breaks easily so i am putting tick on the chalk question number 8 dash layer is the top most layer of the soil option a is humus option b is sand yes there are four layers of the soil first is humus then clay then sand and then gravel so the correct answer is humus humus is the top most layer of the soil yes question number 9 soil is found in light brown dark brown and dash in color so soil is found in light brown dark brown and red in color so red is the correct option so we will choose the red option blue is wrong answer question number 10 dash grows well in sandy soil option a is bajra option b is rice so bajra grows well in sandy soil bajra is the right answer whereas rice grows well in clay soil question number 2 true or false here you have to find that this uh, statement is true or false here you have to click on the correct options whether this statement is true or whether this statement is wrong or false now let's start question number 1 lion lives in a in the soil found in our garden so this statement is true or false yes tell me students yes this statement is false lion lives in a den or cave so the we will choose the option false question number 2 humus is made of tiny pieces of rocks and rotten pieces of dead plants and animal so tell me student this statement is true or false H humus is made up of tiny pieces of rocks and rotten pieces of dead plants and animals so this statement is true we will choose the option true so we will take on the true option yes question number 3 all rocks are same in color uh, this is this statement is true or false yes this statement is false because all ro so all rocks are different in color because they made from different minerals some rocks are red in color some rocks are gray in color some are black in color so rocks are in different different colors question number 4 the larger particle above the gravel are called as sand yes this statement is true or false yes this statement is true because sand particles are large particles so above the gravel there is a layer of sand so sand particles are large particles so this statement is true we will tick on the true question number 
द फाइन पार्टिकल्स अबाउ द सैंड इज कॉल्ड एज क्ले येस दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू सो वी विल टेक ऑन द ट्रू ऑप्शन इन द एग्जाम यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स डज लोम कंटेन्स बोथ वॉटर एंड एयर येस लोम लोमी सॉइल कंटेन्स बोथ वॉटर एंड एयर सो वी विल टिक ऑन द येस ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ह्यूमस क्ले सैंड एंड ग्रैवल आर द फोर लेयर्स ऑफ द of a soil in the option yes or no is given so yes these are the four layers of soil so this statement is true we will click on the yes option question number 8 earthworm lives in a den in the options yes or no is given so we have to choose the correct option so earthworm lives in a den no earthworm lives in a soil so this statement is wrong so we will put a tick on the no question number 9 we make cement bricks and glass from soil yes so this statement is true we will click on the true option question number 3 identify the figure here two figure or two diagrams are given and for each diagram two options are given you have to choose the correct option in the first picture diamond is given so and in option hard rock or soft rock is given so diamond is a hard rock or soft rock yes diamond is a hard rock so we will click on the hard rock or we will put a tick on the hard rock that because that is correct answer in question number 2 one diagram is given and op in options layers of soil and bottle filled with the water yes you have to identify the figure or you have to identify the picture so tell me what will be the correct answer yes this figure is of layers of soil so we will click on the layers of soil today i have given questions on the choose the correct answer true or false and identify the figure i would be giving the few more questions in the form of fill in the blanks for the same lesson and then would be start with the revision questions for the next chapter children keep practicing the revision questions and read the lesson thoroughly read the lesson contained very properly i have sent you the copy of the lesson too i hope you understood the lesson thank you and all the best to you